وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى in this episode I'm going to speak about the second way in which low aspiration occurs الكسل في الدعوة إلى الله being very lazy when it comes to calling to Allah سبحانه وتعالى's path some people have very low aspiration when it comes to da'wah. And many Muslims, even though they have knowledge, and a lot of Muslims who have knowledge, understanding of the religion, and they also even have the ability to articulate it. And Allah has gifted them to the ability to say they have it. And they can benefit the people. With that all being said, they still don't want to go out and give da'wah. وَهَذَا مِنْ أَعْضَمِ مَظَاهِرِ الدُّنُوُ الْهِمَّةِ This is from one of the greatest forms in which low aspiration occurs. How many Muslims do we know, brothers, today? Um, who hold back in giving da'wah to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And you know he knows. He studied, he's been, he even graduated from a university and he just doesn't talk to people. And if you ask him a question and he answers it for you, you'll be amazed of what he has and the understanding he has. And how many people do we have today who call to Allah Ta'ala's path and they are very, very weak in knowledge and they are also very weak in comprehension. With that all being said, they're still giving the hour. So what we have to understand is this person where are, where are these people when it comes to the biography and the uh, prophets and the messengers? I mean, your path, is it the path of the prophets and the messengers? Is it the sea, is it the way of the ulama, al-amilin, and the du'at al-mukhlisin? No. Rather, what shocks me is that the people of falsehood, ahlul batil, the people of falsehood, and the du'at al-dalala, the people who call to misguidance, they are exerting efforts. Even they have aspiration in what they are according to. They give victory to their falsehood. And you find a person who has knowledge, understanding of the religion, has no aspiration. Akhi, I don't want to give it. Rather, ushaq al-manasib. People who have love for women, for example. Who have love for positions. They exert more effort than some people who have knowledge and are, who, ha, who have low aspiration when it comes to giving da'wah. Let me give you a, a few lines of poetry. For example, like the poet who said, أَجِدُ الْمَلَامَةَ فِي هَوَاكِ لَذِيذَةً حُبَّا لِذِكْرِكَ فَلْيَلُمْنِ اللُّوَّمُ He said, I find happiness and joy in your remembrance. In you. I, uh, he loves a woman. And then he says after that, let those who want to blame me, blame me for loving you. And he doesn't care that the people are going to blame him. And you find some people who have knowledge, they're scared of the people blaming them. Ah, oh, well, people are going to say things about me. You know, I, I don't, I can't, I can't go forward for that. I'm not, I'm not cut for it. Leave me alone. Did you not hear the line of poetry where the poet said, لَيْسَ يَخْلُ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ ضِدٍ وَإِنْ حَاوَلَ الْعُزْلَةَ فِي رَأْسِ جَبَلٍ You're never going to be without criticism, even if you live in a mountain and you cut away from everybody. They will find a way and something to say about you. They would. Did Allah not say in the Qur'an, وَلَحَاقِبَةُ لِتَقْوَى That the final ending is for those who are pious and for taqwa? 
Did Allah not say, Ya you ladina amanu in tansurullah yan surkum wa yuthabbit akadamakum? Those of you who believe, give victory to Allah. And giving victory to Allah means giving victory to his religion. Allah will give victory to you and Allah will make you affirm. Did Allah not say in the Quran, Inna Allah ma'al ladina taqaw wa ladina hum muhsinun. As long as you come with taqwa, Allah is with you. So this is important that you understand it, not to run away from giving da'wah. Not to be lazy and laxidaisuku. To focus on spreading this religion. Now I'm going to mention the third form in which low aspiration occurs. And that is at-taharrubi min al running away from responsibilities. Many people, they run away from their responsibilities. And they, وَيُلْقِي بِالْمَلَامَةِ وَالتَّبَعَةِ عَلَىٰ غَيْرِهِ And he throws blames on others. He's always blaming other people, not himself. That is an evidence. دَلِيلٌ عَلَىٰ دُنُوُ الْهِمَّةِ That shows that a person's aspiration is very low. When they run away from responsibility and they always blame others. And they always want, in every situation, إِثَارُ salama. In every situation, they want the safest way out. I'm going to mention some ways in which التَّهَرُّبُ مِنَ الْمَسْؤُولِيَةِ becomes apparent. How does one know that he is running away from responsibility? If you see the following things, you are running away from responsibility. The first one is التَّخَاذُل. التَّخَاذُل means you're always bringing excuses to the table. بِكَثْرَةِ الْإِعْتِذَارَاتِ You're always bringing an excuse. أو التماس المسوغات أو الاحتجاج بكثرة المشاغل Or you use the excuse, I'm so busy. Or أنه لم يقتنع من جدوى ذلك العمل Or you say, that job I work at, I don't like the schedule they give me. Or I don't like that. وهكذا دواليك Every situation they have an excuse for it. It's called التخاذل. If you're always bringing excuses to the table, you're always looking for an excuse, or you are always using as an excuse the fact that you're busy, or you've got a blame that you want to bring forward regarding the schedule that was given to you, or you didn't like the way that you were spoken to. This shows that you're running away from responsibility of your own actions. The second one is called at taqdeel What does at taqdeel mean? First of all, at taqdeel is worse than the one before it. At taqdeel is you find some people who don't bring anything forward. They don't bring anything to the table. لا يقدم شيء يذكر. Nothing that can be mentioned, they don't bring it to the table. And if he stopped there, <laughs> that would have been better. وليته يكتفي بذلك. If only he stopped there, that would have been better. إنما تجد you find him مخذلا لمن أراد العمل والبذل. You find that he backstabs anyone who goes forward. He doesn't want to give. He just sits back. He doesn't do anything. But what he does is that he belittles others. Okay. He also scares them. He also warns against them. And definitely that person will fall under the ayah. الَّذِينَ يَبْخَلُونَ وَيَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبُخْلِ Those who are bakhil, they're stingy from holding back in exerting good and they are calling the people to doing the same. The next way that you will see it happen is a tawin A tawin what does it mean? A tawin is when you belittle everything. Everything, you belittle it. You make it very little. You come to this person, for example, and you say, look, Akhi, we need to take a position in this situation. We need to do them something. Or, we, or you tell him about his children. You say, look, Akhi, there's maybe something you should do with, with your children. Or, you, Akhi, this issue. Everything you bring to the table, he will say to you, Akhi, that's, that's a matter. That's just people going overboard with it. Don't worry, it's nothing like that. Wallahi, that matter. Wallahi, It doesn't really require a lot of, uh, it doesn't require a lot of effort. Wallahi, we don't need to do a lot about it. Let's just ignore it. This is a sign of a person who's run away from responsibility. The other way that it happens is that at tahwil At tahwil is also a problem, which means 
you make everything seem hard and complicated. For example, you'll say, Akhi, wallahi la yumkinuna tawassuli ila dhalika illa bi juhdi al-jabbarah. Wallahi, Akhi, we'll never be able to do this unless we exert so much effort into it. And then he says to you after that, and even that, laysat bi imkanina wa la fi wus'ina. Yeah, but we, even then we still can't do it, Akhi. It won't work. Walidhalika, the scholars, they say that high aspiration is between بين التهوين والتهويل It is between what? It is between the two that I just mentioned The one before it and this one That's where the truth lies And high aspiration lies The other way that you find a person who's running away from responsibility is التواضع الكاذب False humility You find some people Allah gave them knowledge and he doesn't want to spread that knowledge or Allah gave him wealth and he doesn't want to give it in the khair he doesn't want to spend it in the khair so he wants to run away from both of those how can he run away from it? he has to find a way for it, right? so he comes with al-kadib. he comes with false humility He'll say to you, when you say, Akhi, come and give da'wah, why are you sitting back? Have you not graduated from the prestigious university of Al-Medina? Akhi, don't you have knowledge? Akhi, you've studied, you've memorized the Qur'an. He'll say to you, Allah, al-musta'an. Ana lastu ahlan li dhalik. Ya Akhi, I'm not fit for this position. Ya Akhi, you know, Imam Muhammad is called at tawadu al kadib He's really running away from the responsibility. He's running away from the responsibility. And he will start using... Poets, lines of poetry وَقَدْ قِيلَ الْبِلَادُ إِذَا خْشَعَرَّتْ وَصَوَّحَ نَبْتُهَا رُوعِ الْحَشِيمُ Hani, hani, akhi, I'm not ready. مَنْ اسْتَعْجَلَ شَيْءٌ قَبْلَ أَوَانِي عُوْقِبَ بِحِرْمَانِ And things like that. Anyone who hastens something before its time, they will be prevented from it. That is called tawadu, which is what? Kathib. The tawadu that's praiseworthy in the religion is the tawadu, which is you exert an effort and then you belittle your efforts. That's tawadu in Islam. Islam tawadu is you sit back and you say, oh, I'm humble. No, no, no. Tawadu in Islam is you exert an effort. You bring something to the table. You bring khair to the table. And then you belittle your own actions. You say, I haven't really done much. I need to do more. I'm going to have to work harder. Yani, oh Allah, accept this basic action of mine. And you belittle yourself after you've educated the people and you've taught you your humble. That's tawadu. That's what the Sharia loves and appreciates. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now? that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.